the American people know that men and women who serve in law enforcement are the best people in this country. They put their lives on the line uh, every single day. And, and while there, you know, there's there's no excuse for what happened to George Floyd, and justice will be served. But there's also there's no excuse for people playing politics and trying to blame a dedicated law enforcement officers who are out fighting crime for crime that's happening on the streets of our city. I mean, that's the reason why President Trump has taken such strong action from very early on. 4,000 law enforcement officers funded in our first three years through the COPS program. Uh, and the Operation Legend program that the president launched, named after a little boy who was gunned down in his home, uh, is now deployed a thousand federal officials to our cities and arrested more than 2,000 violent protesters who have, who have burned businesses, threatened individuals, and brought violence uh, to our streets. Look, we've we got we to gotta reject the notion that we need to make a choice between supporting law enforcement mm -hmm. and supporting our African-American community or our minority communities in our city. President Donald Trump has done both from day one, and we're going to continue to support law enforcement even while we work to improve the lives of our African-American neighbors. More jobs, better public safety, uh, better educational opportunities uh, and choices. Uh, we've done it so far. We're going to do it for four more years.